Hey guys, it's Hannah and welcome back to the Dyslexic Reader. Today I wanted to try something a little bit new on this channel. What I was going to do was kind of like a dyslexia on booktube series and kind of just every episode, I have no idea how frequent these are going to be, but every video just kind of take a difficulty that I have because of my dyslexia and then turn give that kind of a brief overview of how it affects my reading but then also how it affects me being on booktube and making videos and all those kinds of things so um yeah give me some feedback either through the like button or the comments if you think that is a good idea if you like this if you would like to see more and we'll just see how it goes. What is there to lose? I don't think they're going to take terribly long. And because I'm just speaking from the heart, there's not really a lot of prep for me to do. So I'm just going to try one of those today. The thing that I've really been thinking about recently is memory. I have a good memory, I would say. I can remember things from when I was really young. Even as a child, I would say, remember the time we did that? And my mum would be like, no, we never did that. And then I'd be like, no, seriously, ask somebody else. And then she would, and she would say, how the heck could you remember that? I, so generally, I have a very good memory. When it comes to reading, however, um, because of the difficulty that I have processing the written word and kind of taking it in and interpreting it in my brain due to my dyslexia, I find it very hard to remember what I have read. That obviously made studying and exams very hard at school. I always done much better in coursework than exams, but that's because of a lot of things to do with dyslexia, time restraints, spelling, things like that. But memory was definitely something that played into that. And when I was revising, I could read over things a thousand times and it wouldn't go in. So I had to think of other ways to try and infuse things into my memory, basically. When it comes to booktube, how that difficulty comes in is I find it very hard to remember the content of books. I reread books constantly because I could literally have read something. I could read something two years ago and remembered it the most of it I could have read something two weeks ago and literally couldn't even like tell you the characters names or anything um so that I think plays into a lot of the reasons why I reread books because nearly it's like a new experience for me I know I enjoyed it but I don't really remember it so I know if I read it I'm gonna probably enjoy it again this kind of takes the guessing out of am I might going to enjoy this book so that's why I would do a lot of rereads but it also comes in difficult when I'm trying to review books, especially if I've had a good reading month, which I haven't had in a while. But uh, when I did have good reading months, and say I would read maybe six plus books in a month, and then it came to the end of the month and I had to do my wrap up, I could remember very little about the first book that I read. And I, I don't like writing reviews. I know people say, oh, we'll take notes, um, talk about you know, take notes as you're going along, write kind of the review as soon as you're finished. But that's part of the reason why I do booktube because my dyslexia, like writing is so hard that I find when I'm made to like write a review for every book, it really takes the enjoyment out of me and it really like kind of panics me when the book is ending. Like, what am I going to say? Um, so that is a difficulty that I would say that I have. Um, so I don't like writing reviews, it takes enjoyment out of me. And I don't film straight away because I put books together at the end of the month. So I can't really remember. Like, I can tell you if I liked it or not. I can tell you, oh, I really like this bit or that bit. But as to giving it like a synopsis, not great at. So that was just kind of the two main ways that I found memory that's kind of linked to my dyslexia affecting me on booktube. It would be that I tend to reread a lot because I don't remember the books and also reviewing is quite hard because I don't necessarily remember the books. So I would be interested to see, do people without dyslexia struggle with this as well? I definitely know that you can have memory problems that aren't linked to dyslexia, but mine definitely is because, as I said, I have a great memory. Um, It's just with the written word that um, my memory kind of falters. So I'd be interested though to see if any non-dyslexics have this problem as well, which is 
totally fine if you say like, oh, I can't remember reading um, that book two months ago. It's not necessarily a sign of dyslexia. You can have it outside or you could have dyslexia and have a great reading memory. I just happen to not. Uh, so yeah, I'd be interested in your experience and any tips or tricks as well. As, you, as I said, I don't really like taking notes because with the dyslexia it makes it hard for me. So any other kind of ideas uh, would be welcome. This is very short, very informal. I'm sure I babbled loads, but there we go. I just wanted to kind of start this dyslexia on booktube thing as a little experiment to see how it goes. I hope you're all happy. I hope you're all healthy and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.